Hey guys, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I am the Wolf. I am joined by Lord Jericho. Hey guys. Magic Slayer. Hey. Disturbing Z. Hello. <laughs> we also have the magnificent engineer here, the quartermaster himself, the guy in purple, Dreamweaver. Ah, dude. <laughs> That's his butt we're staring at, by the way. He's going to be putting together a CD. We're going to work together on making a CD here so we can finally escape this wretched planet that has nothing on it for us so we can get out there and get some dang resources. So as you can see, the rest of us are up here on top of the building. We're going to watch him build and tell him what to do, and he's going to be down there like a baboon putting it all together for us, which is really cool. So get to it, man. Show us what you got. All right, okay, sweet. <laughs> Okay, so it's facing that way. Facing you, man. So we gotta make sure we remember that's the front. Yeah. So we don't, don't forget to uh, fly it backwards. spin the cockpit around. Yeah, yeah, I've got to turn the cockpit around just so that the wolves' compass can work properly. <laughs> it's only appropriate when the cow is on. <laughs> right, I'm just getting some heat a bit quick because I noticed we haven't got any. Four men with black hair, one man with a yellow beard. All on the, sitting on the roof while the sun rises. I can never do that. Awkward or <laughs> what? Just don't switch me. I put I put gray in my hair. Don't even know I'm holding the stirrup's hand. Ooh, that was his butt. Never mind. <laughs> I felt like I was back in my football days for a second there. That was kind of creepy. So good Beer. But basically what we're going to try and go for here is something between a mix of the Firefly from Serenity and the Defiant from Star Trek. Buddy left your channel. So it's going to have a front-loading underbelly hanger that'll house our, all of our stuff that we're taking off this planet to survive with so we can get out and harvest and mine and get our stuff to make our individual ships. And then a deluge, a gully inside the top of the ship down the center where we're going to be able to park the condor here because we're going to definitely need to bring it with us if we're going to make it off this place. So the hangar doesn't have to be extravagantly too big. It only needs to hold maybe two hover vessels. Well, that's as big as I was going to make the bottom of the ship completely. Sounds that includes a uh, hangar bay with storage both sides. And then, like, the engineering section and stuff would be behind that? Yep. Sounds yep. good. Up on a separate level. Uh, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to try and do a small um, garden we want a better description. Second floor. Up near the cockpit. Back Shame. of the cockpit sort of thing. So like uh, where it would be on the Firefly would be like where the... Crew quarters. Crew quarters and, and the dining and the room fridge. would be. Yeah, yeah. That kind of area. And then in front of that would be the cockpit. So it would be like in the yes. actual Firefly you'd go through the garden, the kitchen, or the kitchen, the garden, and then the bridge. Sounds good. Yeah, so... Yep, just uh, thunking in your head at the minute. Right now, it looks like four men and a Dreamweaver. Yep. <laughs> right, I'm thinking. Plenty long enough. You know, the, 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 the funny thing is, in Star Trek, the Defiant was a TARDIS. It was larger on the inside than the outside. You would think it was, but if you actually look at the schematics, it's not. Well, uh, they had to fudge some of it. Like uh, it's kind of like the Delta Flyer. The Delta Flyer was bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. Uh, yes, the, yes. Where they had filmed, um, they had to make it bigger because 
Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to film magic, it. Magic, magic, you need to stop. You're making people cry. <laughs> Stop taking my childhood. Sorry. I took off. I, I took off the geek hat. Did you replace it with a dunce hat? Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> But once we get off this planet, we are going to be going out and getting fuel and everything again, actually mining resources so we can all start building our own personal ships. If you guys have any ideas that you want us to try and build a specific style, let us know. And each of us will build something and try and incorporate that for you. So like if you want Jericho to fly around in a giant freightery looking thing, he'd probably build it for you. If you want Magic to fly around in something that looks like a gerbil or a hamster, he's really good at that. <laughs> Fly around in a big sausage. If you need something disturbing, that's what the Sturb's here for. I'm here to please. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yes, this is a rare occasion. I'm actually using a drum. I'm <laughs> shocked beyond belief. You have no idea. You know, in seven days to die, I'm going to miss the drone. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't think of a use of drone to build. Yeah, I never do really. No, very rarely. It's only because it was up to the high walls or not the phone. Unless somebody points it out while I'm building, <coughs> it's like, it, it's in so far in the back of my mind. I think the drone is a cheaty toy to me. I mean, it's, it's a, a handy thing, but I don't do a med to work. So I, I like the idea of having drones. I just don't think you should be able to automatically use a drone. I think you should actually have to... Build it or something. Right, uh, a drone deployer or, or something like that. But then again, too, I also think drones should be able to hold weapons and you should be able to use them in combat. In time, green. In time, magic. I mean, <laughs> we'll probably be able to get that. Right, wolf. Too big. Right, right. Yeah, maybe. That's a seven by five. It doesn't push him off. Right, no. You could hit yourself with your own drone, but you can't push other people. That's wrong. I'm on levels. <laughs> I just pushed myself off. <laughs> <laughs> right, curiosity will be getting the better of me soon. I want to know if I can get that hover vehicle through that door. I'll bring it in for you. There you go. We got a we got our oh, help in hand ahead. here now. Yay! Got the four. I'll try and get you a little bit of a ramp. We got the four right. overseers. The engineer and the quartermaster and the private first class. Do what you're told, oh, guys. Definitely a private. <laughs> when you go there, jump. <laughs> Up the ramp and inside if you can. Yeah, it looks like that'll fit without a problem. Yeah, it'll still be. I mean, I bet you even the striker would fit in there. The original stalker. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's plenty big enough. Oh, oh yeah. We'll park it back up. Backing it out. Excuse me. Thank just gotta suck it in and just squeeze it in. Good no, job, Pickles. Okay. Right, so that's gonna be top. Mmm, pickle chips. Yeah, it's kind of funny how your character looks like a pickle, Magic. <laughs> <laughs> My character looks like a pickle? And you look like a, a, a spicy pickle, and then you got disturbed, he looks like Iron Man with a Viking beard. Oh, 
Quando tiver de dois. É, cara, é muito estranho. Você está um All these drones everywhere. Oh, you can't nudge other players with a drone. You can nudge yourself with a drone, but you can't That's nudge other I players. That's what I just said. He's just oh, a drone sorry. dude. I actually walked into the party, Magic. Yeah, hello. Glad you could make it. You wake <laughs> up. Sorry, I was eating pickle chips. Sorry, sour cream and chive chips. My, my family Ooh, keeps correcting yummy. me. Making us hungry there, Magic. There are leftovers from uh, from St. Louis, from the Pickles uh, Deli. So they are pickle chips. They're from Pickles Deli. I know, but they're not pickle flavored chips. <laughs> they're pretty good. Oh, yeah. Pickle flavored chips. Yeah. Are we talking American chips here? Yep, yeah. yep, crisps. Yep, yep. Cool. Crisps, thank you. Right, yeah, we wish. Yeah. Yep, we're having, he's having crisps. My crisps. wife's actually picking me up four bags of my favorite crisps herself on the way home. <laughs> I finished the habanero crisps. Those were um, those were quite good. Oh, you're back. I take it that's your daughter <laughs> that's talking in the background. Yeah, she's like, she's like, you must be talking to somebody from Britain. Uh, she goes, no, actually, it was it was like a revelation. So I was like, oh, you're talking to somebody from Britain. It's like. Yeah. Well, you should remind her that she's on YouTube right now. <laughs> she's coming through clear as day on my channel, and I'm not editing it out. It's actually funny. <laughs> It's like that one time Jericho and I, when we were playing Seven Days to Die, before way before you guys all joined us, and he made a weird gay zombie reference of some kind. I left that in there. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was, I, 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 I just remember it was hilarious. I didn't remember that. Or that time that you said I didn't shoot you in the head, even though you ran right in front of me as I shot the zombie in the head and it hit you instead. And it was the first ever episode we ever put out of 70s. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I think we called it Preview of Things to Come because it was our very first ever recorded episode. Yeah, it was. I didn't see the donut on the back. He just uh, put it on there. It's just about to get taken off. <laughs> Still up on we're going to start playing a game. How many food references can Magic make during one video? <laughs> a lot, probably. I've already lost count. I can't help it. I'm hungry. All right, there you go. The donut, as you call it, is back. Yay. Good donut. I have a reference I'm not even going to mention. Okay, now, it, now it's fine. We covered the whole. The rear of the ship looked like it was. Uh, oh no, don't worry, it's not going to be. It would ease like from the to... front and uh, drop it from the back. What? What? It would eat from the front and drop it from the back. Oh yes, it has a poo hole. Oh, you could always make an anatomically correct ship. I could. There are birds flying around my screen. Bird. Oops. Ah, oh. It's moving. Yeah, it's, it's alive. Yeah, it's because the uh Lock hit the ship and picked on the ground. You know, from a certain angle, it kind of looks like a um, like a plucked oh. chicken laying there. Oh, that's interesting. It does actually. Not really the uh, look I was going for. I'll, I'll give you that. But... We actually had a raccoon <laughs> get in our chicken coop last night. It looks like a, a plane I made out of Legos when I was 
really young. Uh, yeah, you know, it's hair. amazing how chickens get used to gunfire after a while. But <laughs> then once I fired the gun, they were like, oh, okay, danger's over, and they start going back to do their own thing. At 2 o'clock in the morning. That, is that why you were on at 2 in the morning? Yeah. I, I was too. wondering that. Yeah, somebody tried messaging me. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? When am I ever <laughs> actually awake in that time of night? <coughs> Unless we're doing an all-nighter recording something. Never. Well, so never, never always, always have to sleep. Just so you guys know, they're only building this just so we can escape off the planet. She's probably not going to be all purtified. <laughs> She'll be quite pretty when she's finished it, you worry. <laughs> but we're not building her for combat or anything, so she's not armored to the teeth or anything like that. It's so just, just from A to B. Get us off this planet so we can start building our real ships. But if you guys actually enjoyed this little mini-series of Escape from Akua, we'll do some uh, Escape from Neguses and Escape from Omicron and Escape from the Spiron, if you guys like. Just hit those like buttons to let us know, comment to let us know you want us to do it so we can actually uh, do it. I've actually enjoyed doing this. It was actually a lot of fun. Awesome. Especially the fact that we were so limited on ammo, we had to use chainsaws. You imagine trying to do that <laughs> on the snow planet or on Omicron? It'll be a nightmare. Wait, one way to find out. Although I think uh, I, I think the next time we should put like one small node of iron and one small node of um um the other stuff. You mean have some resources? Yeah, but I mean like not really enough to do much, but to do a little bit more. Well, we already we do have everything we had needed here. Why would we Why would we break this? This was a challenge, and it was fun, and we did it. We had no resources, well, but we still made it happen. If we did Ningus, we may we may have to have something. No. The, well, we go get it for the POIs, just like we did it here. Every one of these blocks yeah. we built the base out of, and that we built the ships out of, came from the POIs. You're trying to make things too easy. No pickles. <laughs> Stop it. What do you What do you mean? You yelled at me for making it too hard. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, actually, you might do right. I yelled at you because you forgot time, to huh? fix things. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, right. one moon. You added four moons. Birdie. Yeah. Hello, birdie. Don't go nowhere. Come here. Where'd you go? Hey, come back here. I'm just I'm just age deficient. Did you say you're age deficient? H. H. You spelled my name wrong. Ain't that the truth? Well, for those of you wanting the up-close personal drone view, just go to any of the other guys' channels. I'll bring you the overall <laughs> build view of the flies of drones flying around it. <laughs> for the all-internal view, go to Disturbs channel. <laughs> they should let us color our drones and personalize them. That would be cool. And name them. I'd name mine Bugsby. Right? Well, the, um, I'd also like to see like an item that uh, scatters a, a bunch of drones, like uh, like a swarm, to confuse um, turrets. That'd be nice. That's what we usually do anyway, isn't it? 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's not an automated like single player. Like an automated drone. Like it, it spawns five mini drones and they go wee up in the air. Yep. Almost like a cluster grenade going off. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why That's we what, requested uh, grenades from the developers. Those little um those little quadcopters, I always wanted to, to, to build those and just have a swarm of little quadcopters quad uh, quadcopters that follow me around. Carry <laughs> up for you. Oh, it's geeky as well. Where they carry your lunch there is magic. That that would be cool. Stupid drones not playing ball, the old fashioned way. Yeah, the other side doesn't match. What? The engine. Oh, I'm missing a thruster. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why it doesn't match. That's why it doesn't match, yeah. Yay, we can finally yeah. go forward, but we can't do anything else. I was actually talking to an engineer about that swarm idea. Huh? He said the, the the only problem is is uh, getting all the drones to uh, uh, communicate with each other so they don't crash into each other. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Just uh, look at your body. No, don't look at your body. <laughs> I have grown a drone on me. I have mutated. Well done. Take your long way. What you got there? And almost <laughs> like I mutated with the Kool Aid man. <laughs> Help you out. <laughs> the drones have hands. Yeah, little Tyrannosaurus Rex ones. Utterly useless. <laughs> right. Yeah, if those could carry a pistol, it'd be perfect. Or at least give us the ability to wave with them. I mean, come on now. Yeah. Yeah, some people need their own <laughs> I'm on blast. Who's the other two? Never do, John. Never do. Ooh, are we going to go with directional thrusters for reverse? Sorry? The little directional thrusters? Is that what you just put there? Yeah, it's not meant to stop us quick. Okay. Need some downward thrusters, and I've only got two of those. Two of the, um... Ones in between the ones we've got on. Bare bones, it. This is what I'm doing. This is all the stuff we've picked up. I haven't made any of this yet. Whee! Oh, well, that's interesting. Just dancing. Right, okay. In a minute, I'll uh, go and put it back where it should be. 
got enough to actually get it running. It's yeah, not on me. <laughs> Somebody's dying. Been standing around too long. <laughs> get food. Alright, one of them. One of them. <laughs> This is somebody's draw. Who's gonna die first? There we go. I rewogged the ship. Oh, well done. Wow. Yeah, so much crowd around you. <laughs> I confirmed yesterday there is no R in walk. Oh. Always one. Oh, there's a lot of A's. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, there's uh. three A's. <laughs> what are you doing? Fell off again somehow. Your ship is glitched and creepy. Oh. Started bucking me off. Started bucking him off. If the ships are rocking, you know, don't bother not. Use some RCSs. That's where I can't get it to do what I want. <laughs> See right, people, we even shit. start with boxy looking stuff. Yep. Never ends up like it. Yeah. Oop. I hear somebody just clicking down inside the base. Hey. I'm in the garden. Last. All of it, not one bit. I know, right now I'm right now I'm waiting on the pumpkins to grow. They're slow. Yes, they are. And everything else. What news? Dogs! Right. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> I gotta go for a ride. Right, is that a little bit better for picture in there? Yeah, that's awesome. All I was trying to do is just move it back so it wasn't stuffed in your faces. Right, where was I? Alright guys, so I think we're going to cut this episode in half right here. So we got the initial build here, and then we'll bring you back for the second half of the finishing of the ship. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to play Honey Game Hard, and until next time, take it easy. So, so guys. Bye later.